Hello everyone, my name is Alexander Mendes and today I'm going to show you an example in how to configure a workflow that reads from Oracle Source and writes to a DB2 target. In this example I'm going to use Linux uh, operating system. The agenda is configure Oracle native connection, configure DB2 native connection, import source target metadata by designer2, create a mapping and, and a workflow and run it. First we need to install the Oracle client in the PowerCenter machine. Pay attention to the bit version of your Oracle client. It must match the PowerCenter bit version. So if you installed PowerCenter 64 bits, you, your Oracle client must be 64 bits also. You need to set some environment variables first is the Oracle home uh, TNS underscore admin this is optional if you do not set it's going to use the default directory directory which is Oracle home network admin the path the path environment environment variable you need to update with the Oracle home bin and the LD library path you also need to update adding the Oracle home lib after that you need to configure a TNS names.r file. This is in this example uh, the the connection is going to be done by the TNS names.r file. There are some other options. You need to discuss with your Oracle DBA to get details about um, the other types of connection to the Oracle database. So in this example here the connection string is called ukdb4.word the host uh, where is the DB is up and running is UKDB the port number is 1521 and the instance name is called ORCL after you have done that you it's very important you do a test connection and make sure it works so now you need to do pretty much the same steps for DB2 Client. First, you need to install the DB2 client in, this, in the Power Center machine. Uh, the, the same bit version is also important here. Uh, it must match the DB2 bit version with the Power Center bit version. Set some environment variables DB2 dir, DB2 instance. If it's the DB2 is local, that is important one. Uh, the path, you need to update the path environment variable adding db 2 dir bin to the path and also LD library path uh, pointing out to the db2 libraries after you have done that you need to catalog the nodes and the database it's uh, here in the db2 there is no uh, file like a tnsms.or file in the oracle this is done by the command line db2 catalog. First you catalog the nodes uh, and after that you catalog the db in that specific node and also it's very important do a test connection. Okay so here in the power center box I have the Oracle home set, the TNS admin also set, LD library path it contains Oracle home lib uh, path environment variable also it's updated with the Oracle home bin and I did do a TNS ping UKDB4 it worked fine and finally I do a test connection SQL plus the user enter the password and it connected and then I just created a table source underline example and inserted a row here in the power center machine with the db2 client I have done pretty much the same steps db2 dir is set ld library path also is set db2 instance is set path is updated with the db2 dir bin then I just invoke a db2 command line and connected and 
the connection worked and I created a target table for this demo. So after create db2 entry and oracle entry uh, to connect to the database I need to import the tables. So this metadata source uh, I provide my username come up here source example now I'm going to import the metadata for the DB2 target table here's the target example after import metadata I need to create the workflow connection so here in the workflow manager in connections I go to relation relational and create a I just created the Oracle source provide the username the password and the Oracle connect string and I did the same for DB2 provide the username and password and the connect string that's cataloged in the DB2 client after create the connection in the workflow manager connection I need to create the workflow so generate workflow next Oracle source the target is going to be the DB2 this one that I just created just put a name here for the workflow for the session and just finish it now I'm able to run the workflow after finish the workflow I am able to run it and I can take a look here that if I just rerun it it just works fine so look in the session log I can see that the rows have been moved from Oracle to the DB2 table and successfully so two rows applied looking here in the DB2 database in the select star from target underscore example I can see the rows here I have run the workflow four times so that's why we see eight rows in summary the steps described in this multimedia KB are useful to explain how to configure a basic workflow that reads from Oracle source table and writes to DB2 target table. We would love to hear from you. Please get in contact by support videos at informatica.com or Twitter by twitter.com forward slash infosupport. Thank you. Bye.